Margaret Kilgallen, artist, mother, accomplished banjo player, avid surfer, feminist, and human being. Margaret Kilgallen, a San Francisco Bay Area artist, grew up in Maryland, earned a BFA in printmaking from Colorado College and her MFA from Stanford University. However, Margaret was an artist and never allowed her accomplishments to find a worth of her art. Margaret was passionate about the importance of handcraft and the significance of it in her work. Her job as a book conservator at the San Francisco Public Library allowed her to study typography styles which became very prominent in her work. In San Francisco, Margaret was engulfed in graffiti, folk art, mural painting, hobo art, and letterpress printing. She did a lot of freight train vandal art under the name Matoki Slaughter, a name she adapted after her favorite folk musician with husband Barry McKean. Both Margaret and Barry are part of San Francisco Mission School and shared common interests such as appreciation of handwork and heavily disapproved the way the city embraced and celebrated forms of corporal advertising. Margaret's work, however, didn't revolve around the pessimism of urban culture, but rather by women and the strength that carried and the way they inspired her. Margaret painted women whose lives impacted her own, women who made no hesitations to make decisions for themselves, women who worked hard and kept pride, women who played different roles in society. Her ultimate goal was to change the emphasis on what's worth when looking at a woman. Margaret placed just as much of importance in her technique as she did in what inspired her work. Margaret appreciated everything and anything handmade. The authenticity it helped gave it value. Her love for folk art and typography came forth in her work. A lot of her handwork came from constant practice, but she also embraced and understood the importance of imperfection and the beauty in it. Appreciated the evidence of a maker's hand. Margaret was quoted saying, I like things that are handmade. I like to see people's hands in the world, anywhere in the world. It doesn't matter to me where it is. And in my own work, I do everything by hand. I don't project or use anything mechanical because even though I do spend a lot of time trying to perfect my line of work and my hand, my hand will always be imperfect because it's human. I think it's a part that's off that's interesting. That even if I'm doing really big letters and spend a lot of time going over the line and over the line and trying to make it straight, I'll never be able to make it straight. From a distance it might look straight, but when you get close up, you can always see the line waver. And I think that's where the beauty is. While working on her MFA, Margaret became pregnant and however never slowed her down. Friends recalled watching her work tremendously hard on everything she committed to. Watching a petite woman in her trimester up on a crane getting every last bit of detail done. By the seven month in her pregnancy, Margaret was diagnosed with breast cancer. Margaret refused to go to chemotherapy to carry out her pregnancy. Unfortunately, three weeks later, after she gave birth, she passed away. The strength she carried and the passion in her work are very much present in her art. A lot of Margaret's life is still carried on by her family and the work she left behind. A lot of it living up to her hopes and helping people learn from what she's done and placing emphasis in what one can do and how smart they are and getting rid of what society expects one to be. 